Hey everyone, uh, Terrence here from uh, TGG Gaming, and we're sitting here with Kazdan Lash. Oh, there you are. And what did you do today? I got fifth place at the Altoona Iowa Regional. And what did you play? Uh, I played what we've dubbed a boy and his frogs. Uh, so first, <laughs> shout out to Team NFC. It's ours. I didn't wear my jersey because I'm a scrub and I'm a horrible uh, player, I guess. Uh, so first off, you got the boy, Spellbook Magician of Prophecy, and you got his frogs, three swap, three dupe, and two Ronin Toten. That's all the monsters, just eight. It's a lot of shiny monsters. Or I'm sorry, uh, ten monsters with the boys. <laughs> eight frogs. Uh, for spells, double goats. Oh, you're right. I can't. Amazing to just jumpstart action like Everybody knows that. Uh, double secrets and double knowledge for the draw engine. For the trap cards, three impermanents. I was on the fence about playing two this morning, but I ended up putting in the third. Uh, three trap trick, new best card in the deck for sure. Uh, just getting paleo chains double off of this for being able to set anything from the deck. Uh, double evenly, I went and played this uh, just in case I did go second. Also a two because the trap trick can get one out of the deck. Uh, if I hopefully if I don't draw it and need it, uh, one imperial order uh, comes in clutch against sky strikers. Everyone knows that. Uh, for the paleo cards, three dynamiscus. Very good, getting uh, Thunder Dragons off the field. Um, three, Kanadia, the Book of Moon. Uh, three, uh, the Olenoids, the MST, that should be super in the next OTS, but everybody knows that we probably won't get it because Konami hates us. <laughs> One Leech, uh, just for an extender for plays, uh, putting back frogs in the graveyard after Ronin Tone bash banishes them. Uh, trap Trick immediately puts this live because you can put a trap back in the graveyard if you need it, which, again, just great extender for all of your paleos to train, chain off of your traps. Uh, the three Reckless for more draw power. Uh, three Wabaku, which didn't actually see a whole lot of this uh, entire tournament, but there is a, there's a really good uh, play that I like to do, Wabaku with the trap trick. Uh, if you just set the two, you can go ahead and do Wabaku so you don't die, and then Trap Trick set the evenly. It's the only card in your field at that point. Boom. One card. They keep one card, and you don't take any damage. Uh, last to finish off the traps, double goes in match. This kind of boned me a little bit when I played the scapegoat, so I ended up uh, having goes in. I played the scapegoat, and then I can't summon any water, so that's that's my bad. We're all human. Anything uh, you would change for the main deck? Anything I would change, I played 43 cards in the main deck. Uh, it was actually, it, it was kind of just testing it a little more. Uh, shout outs to my buddy Pat. We built the deck. I made a couple of changes to it just from what he did. He took uh, an invite over at Chicago just a couple of weeks ago. Um, I'm not really sure what I would change. I think the Wabaku is great at three. I think the Impermanence is great at three. Those would probably be where I'd start making my cuts though. So that's just my personal preference. Uh, for the extra deck, uh, you need scapegoat tokens. Uh, we played one uh, Opabina for the extender, searching out the leech usually because you got something banished by then. Uh, three Big Toad is the boss monster, gets you everywhere you need to be and negates the things that you don't want and is amazing. Uh, we've got all of our links now, so the Link Rebo. And the Proxy Dragon, this mainly goes into Summon Sorcerers by themselves, so that's great. Uh, as long as you can get a frog. So, uh, off a of Scapegoat, you'll end up making this. And if you have another frog, you can get another frog from the deck. Just going into that. And then you still have another token for Link Karibo, which is great. We've got combo videos on our channel for it. Uh, double Mistar Boy, which also goes... You can go straight into... Uh, as long as you make Mistar Boy have another frog, that goes into Summon Sorcerers as well. Very good combo. Um, we have the Phoenix. I did play Cerberus. Most um, This will definitely get cut. Nobody plays this anymore. And I only played it because I'm sharing the deck with my buddy. Uh, so we did play that along with... Oh, uh, along with the Unicorn. So that's pretty standard. Uh, Cerberus will definitely come out for something else. Just not sure what. I uh, did, obviously, the Summon Sorceress, Bay. Uh, I did play three Link 4s. We do get a lot of questions about this. Like, why do you still need to play all of those? Um... Obviously, the Boro brothers are key to just winning uh, games, but the Saryuja is the only one that can only use uh, two monsters, so I'll end up going like Summon Sorceress with another monster, maybe if it's like an Opabina beneath it, or if it's something else. It can go instantly into Saryuja. You don't get the draw, you don't get the special, but then you can make toads underneath it and it becomes super big. Along with a Mistar Boy, you've got an undefeatable toad, pretty much. 
uh, for my side deck, I've got the third evenly matched. Uh, D barriers for the, uh, the Rongo plays, for the Thunder Dragon plays. Uh, red reboots to make sure that nobody else's evenly matched goes off. Uh, the three twin twisters, these went in almost every single game, too. Uh, Call by the Grave, especially when I'm going uh, first in game three. And I did play, I'm missing, I'm missing the sleeves, but I did play three Herald of the Abyss for the Rongo. I didn't see Rongo all day, which I'm not complaining about. Uh, I went XO2, so I'm basically undefeated, and I can say that, so that's great. Uh, I ended up tying against Cosmo and one against Sky Strikers. Both of the opponents, they, I mean, they were very cool. You know, and time is the, the worst killer in this game. Uh, but that's pretty much it. All right. Any shout outs? Shout outs to Team NFC. My boy Lyle Woo! on Team NFC. He helped me drive today. He helped uh, put ideas in the deck. My boy Patrick, he uh, couldn't make it today. We built the deck together. And uh, it's, it's taken a couple of tops here in the last couple of weeks, and we're very proud of it. Uh, everyone else on Team NFC with all of the love and all the support that we get, very proud of it. And uh, I think that's it. If I missed anybody, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. Well, uh, great job on the top, and uh, hopefully we'll see you again in Chicago. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah.